Well, you probably know someone with the last name Smith, but sure. did you realize that name is derived from blacksmith? They practice an ancient art that goes back thousands of years and is still alive today. In today's electronic world, it's as commonly now a hobby as it is a job, and that's part of what makes it so satisfying. Jennifer and I went to Chicago Avenue Fire Arts Center to try our skill behind the anvil. Well, historically speaking, they were kind of the, the people who did everything, you know, in a, in a farm or in a community. They'd be the people who made the tools, and they made tools for everybody else, and, you know, did horses and, you know, the whole thing. Okay, so first step, you're going to kind of hold it at an angle up at the edge of the anvil, and just hit, and then a quarter turn. And all the stuff that goes on here is really special, I think. And we have uh, students from uh, County Home School. Summer camps where they'll do some welding, they'll do some casting, they'll do some blacksmithing. You know, it's kind of just pile it all together. The mantra here is, if it has to do with fire, heat, spark, and flame. That's, that's it for us. <laughs> but you gotta get it hot, like 1800 degrees. Okay. Up to the edge of the animal and, and you can feel it square. All right, one quarter more turn. All right. Hey, it's a twist. You might have a little smoke. I'm done. You made a hook. I'd like to think of it as a J hook. There we go. We're going to twist it back out to You're the front, right? You're going to twist it that way, yeah. And then I'm going to roll it around. There we go. Are you ready? Ready. I know you're ready. <laughs> okay, there you go. Go for it. Right. One more? Yeah, well, or half turn. Yeah, end up with a flat spot at the back there. Like yeah, there it is. Now kind of line it up and okay, in the tank. Dunk it. Ooh, cool sound effects too. There it is. Wow. Pretty cool. All right, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I made that. <laughs> So that's it. We did it. Clink. <laughs> uh, this we did these in about an hour to an hour and mm -hmm. a half, and uh, it, I got to be honest, I felt pretty ba by the time we were done. I mean, uh, it's it's not too often that we, after we make right. a, a newscast, which just sort of goes out into the ether and never comes back, that you actually have something to show, to show for, for the, it. the work that you've done. So uh, you did a great job as well. I was very proud of my twist. The twist that was my favorite. The twist is also my favorite part. It's also the easiest thing to do, even though it looks like the hardest yes. thing to do. But you can learn all that right. stuff. Uh, introductory blacksmithing classes are offered at Chicago Avenue Fire Arts Center about once a month, and they do fill up quickly. There are other classes you can take too, including jewelry making, metal casting, neon, and more. And we have a link to all they offer at WCCO.com slash links. Kind of a crazy hobby, but one that, that's uh, more popular than even I thought. Right. It's really interesting and mm -hmm. takes about five hours for those classes. Yeah. Yeah. Will you use this somewhere? I think I'm going to hold on to it. And, and I think it will. Somewhere. Hang up your jacket on a yeah. nice day. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, maybe. We'll